All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Fission Superstar X. It's a shmup. I think it's a shmup. I don't know. I, I I always say like shmup and bullet hell interchangeably, and everybody always gets kind of mad at me. So I'm gonna go with this is probably a shmup, and it's got kind of like a weird, weird style. Somewhere on planet X. Wow. That is a guy. That is a cod piece. Greetings and welcome to the Leopoldodrome. My name is Dr. Leopold Merkin, and I am talking to myself again. Six months ago, I designed the ultimate nuclear bomb. During its construction, I heard her whisper to me. She told me that her name was Celine, and she wanted to be a superstar. So I have decided to make her dream come true. That's cool. My dear Bomb Selim will tour the solar system. She will land on every planet from Pluto to Earth. At first, I plan to atomize those, but this idea just sounds silly now. Putting a giant bomb on a stage is far more logical. Well, that's what she told that's what she told me. The bomber's pilot is nearly ready. It's time to bring flesh to life. Okay, so, uh, I have DNA points. Interesting, so aim, armor, and skill. Who's got time for aim? I'm going beef chunk. Create clone. Ah, what's that? Pilot clones. So we did. People of the solar system, this is Leopold from D Planet X. At last, I have control of your TV set. Are you receiving me? Good, today we are launching the most glorious mission. A bomber from Planet X will be carrying a weapon of incredible power. Her name is Celine Vision. You will let her land on your worlds, and then she'll perform for your amusement, and you will enjoy it. No, I'm not insane. This is not radiation sickness speaking. So you better enjoy her and have some concert stages ready. Or else she'll detonate. Well, I feel like there's some things here that have just skipped past, probably for the first playthrough. Chip damage. One, one part reaches zero and you die. Ammunition used by, ooh, used by some weapons, okay. Energy used by shields and energy weapons, crew health, cash to buy stuff. Got it. Lock target. Interesting. Trigger shield, trigger fire. Aim, level time, move ship. Okay. Well, this is an interesting beast already. Oh, there she is. Right there at the bottom. Okay, so what I probably want... Let's see. There we go. I gotta watch out for some of these things. I'm not... Oh, blind spot. That's interesting. Okay. So, blind spots are real important, apparently. I don't know if they're ramming me or whatnot. They probably- they probably are. That's- that's interesting. We have no omnidirectional directional weapons in this. And half of our enemy- uh, half of our enemies are gonna be coming from, like, odd angles and stuff. It's kind of neat, actually. I mean, awkward, I'm gonna get wrecked, but still, okay. I'm a bit puzzled by those attackers. How can anyone not be thrilled by our endeavor? Okay, so progress is bad, so we can... Link skill effectiveness is linked to the crew stat. So, upgrade skill stats. I'm gonna do skill. We've got some hella armor. Okay, deep space recruitment. Progress one. Or a shipyard. Oh, I see. I get to de determine which direction I want to go. Do I want to do shipyard? 
All right, let's do recruitment for now. Hi. So I can spend money. I can get a drone. How much money do I have? 305. Go for the all-rounder, or let's grab Warlord Vader. Oh, Lord Vader. Oh! Oh, I, I replaced her. Well, I, I was hoping that I could just, like, move them around or something, but n no. Why? Why? Oh, pilot, science, engineer, and medic. Oh! Well, it, worth it. We've got Warlord Fader now. I think I fire faster? I could be wrong. Oh. I see. My... My shield, I think, blocked... Uh, my, sh my shield was... That is... I find it doubtful that that was a blind spot, but alright. Oh, I see, so we wanna... We wanna pick up the, the gold bits there. My money. I don't know what that was. Were they, like, trying to kidnap my pilot? They might have been. Okay, well, next round we're going for a shipyard. This is dumb. This whole game is dumb. I really like it. Oh, no, my money. Okay. You won't be the first to fa fail here. Don't be ashamed. It's pretty common. Okay, train skill, improve armor. Let's improve crew max HP. And weapon shop. Where's the shipyard? Let's go to the weapon shop. Okay. So that's what I've installed. So these are kind of pricey. I don't know how many weapon slots we have. So let's go with... What is that? Energy waves at a short distance. Shields are mostly ineffective at blocking it. So wave gun mark one. Oh, I see. So we can buy more ammo. Okay, so... 11.5. Gonna, like, upgrade these. So 11.5, 2.5 shots per second, energy per second is that. Okay. Okay. 2.5. So the wave gun... ...does a decent amount. Let's just try it. Do we grab the rifle? Probably not. We'll just try the wave gun for now. Oh, they're not kidding when they said that was short range. That said, very effective. No more money! I don't know what some of these things necessarily count as, but that's okay. I think some of that is might be health? Or no, it's probably ammo. Well, we should go to a shipyard next and see what we've got. I don't know if ramming actually... It looks like we're taking some damage here. Okay, well, one of those was a repair canister, so never mind. No more shipyards. Okay. Members of the Leopold Police Task Force, it's your time to earn your salt. Proceed to intercept. Alright, so let's just improve armor. And let's go recruit, I think. So, this time around, okay. How, how do we know how injured these guys are? I have no idea. Well, how much money do I have? 666. Let's grab the medic. Her stats are kind of bad, but maybe she, like, heals her dudes? I don't know. She didn't really look happy about this process. Okay, good. I don't have to avoid the- Oh my sweet baby Jesus!
Well, King Vomit did not survive the night. Okay, wait, I have another gun. Oh! I see, the more characters we have, the more guns the more guns we get. Makes perfect sense, actually, if you think about it. Okay, so note to self, next time, recruit the full complement. It'll at the very least give us... Ow, 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 ow. I banished him after he flooded my lab with vomit. Okay. Heal crew. Get her that skill. Okay. Bomb outfit, special weapons, special crew shop. Skilled crewmen will have more effective abilities, so don't forget to train them. So we can boost aim, or let's grab Jago. His stats aren't that great, Mr. Stuck. Yeah, let's let's grab Jago. Okay. And yeah, training would be nice, but I don't have enough. Okay, so now I've got... Oh, I've got a gun on the back. Cool. Okay. It is very dark around here. I see it. Stay away from that. That thing hurts. Okay. What's the next one? There we go. So far, so good. We're taking some damage. Maybe. Oh, I wish I had known that this one was dark as shit. Okay, we want to stay away from the chainsaw, if at all possible. No, that's my health. Man, enemy drops are kind of hard to come by. Okay, we exploded him. Uh. And my top's taking some damage, which is real freaking bad. I guess in that case, I should not offer my my top to anybody. Oh, this is bad. Low energy. Okay, there we go. I can kind of see them. I'm not betting on my survival. Well, no, we're done. Okay. Think you're so great with your fancy ship? Well, you're not! Okay, we could repair ship? Probably should have trained skilled, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we've taken some damage. Let's go to the shipyard. Haven't done one yet. Oh! I can increase ship handli handling, armor, reactor, and shield. Well, I don't have enough money for any of these things because I'm poor as dirt. Increasing ship handling might not be a bad idea. Well, at least repair, repairs weren't ridiculously expensive. Ah, uh, those are those are space whales. Is this a boss? This might be a boss. That poor whale. I don't know what you're doing. You horrify me, honestly. I gotta get my hands on some better equipment. Well, we're out of juice. In, like, pretty much everything. Okay, let's just wait for the energy to come back. Oh! 
That's where you see their HP. Okay. Let's grab that. So that heals the whole team. I got it. I understand. Unfortunately, I'm using, like, super subpar equipment here. And I'm very low on energy. I'm just going to avoid a lot of things. Yeah, the problem is I really shouldn't be killing anything down below me. Okay, well, that's, that's Dunsky. No, that was an energy thing. Man. Hopefully there's, like, a magnet range upgrade or something. Because I'm kind of desperate for it. I mean, honestly, we're going to lose no matter what, but still. Improve armor, repair ship, train skill. Well. It's just train skill. I, I don't actually know if that helps that much. Space rush hour, weapon shop, or shipyard. Okay, do we do handling? Or ship hit points. Let's do energy points for the time being. Did I... Okay, there we go. This is concerning looking. I'm probably going to lose here. Ow. I can barely move. We're just getting zappoed. Oh, those things are just sapping all of my energy. Okay. How to avoid the big energy blips. Ah. 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 My energy. I can do nothing. Oh, we were taking some damage. And there's just endless dudes. And we're dead. Alright, game over. Space game over from space. Well, that didn't go great. So let's see if there's any kind of like meta progression or anything interesting here. Progress, cash, navigation, cash earned, cash spent, space get space giblets and destroyed foes. DNA points earned zero. What? I didn't get anything for that? Clown me, please. So... I mean, obviously I didn't do nearly as well as I probably could have. I feel like I'm missing a number of things here. Turrets, on and off. Okay. Huh. I feel like I'm missing a, a mechanic. Well, one way or another, we needed better weapons than I was using. I was just using the basic stuff. I, I spent a lot of my money on... on I'm not going to say useless crew members, but... I I spent my money on frivolous things. And then didn't get enough money, because I should generally be behind stuff. Cause yeah, I can't- I can't get money from... It, it really sucks. Getting cash in this, to some degree. Maybe some points in ship handling would be in order. Because, yeah, I'm a giant boat, and I'm... Everything I kill... ...doesn't have anything to drop for me. If those should stick around at least a little bit more. Well, he just died. Give me all that cash. Okay, so let's train skill. And let's go recruitment. Okay. 
So he cranks up the armor pretty hard. We could also get Arnold Powers. Let's grab Arnold Powers for now. He's an engineer. I'm assuming he repairs the ship. Everybody else is going to be more expensive. Maybe kind of sort of useful. I, I don't know. Yeah, the problem with the rear-facing gun is... It does not, uh... Come on. I really... You really need, like, just a smidge of a vacuum. Either that or if the shield worked as a vacuum or something. We'll see. Okay. Well, it's an interesting concept. I, I like the I like the idea of this. That this would almost be well. This would almost be a really cool game to uh, to roll with like multiple people. Kind of uh, we need to go deeper style. Each person takes a turret. And. Just smash those so we could repair the ship. Keep raising skill. Uh, let's recruit one more time. We gotta grab Fats, the medic. He's not very good, but I'd rather have a full complement early. And then we'll start going to get weapons, or maybe we go to a shipyard. Let's go to a shipyard first for some handling. Okay. Back. Damn it. It bugs me that they can go off the screen, but I can't. Okay, well, we get some amount of money from him. Not a terrible amount. I want to grab all that cash. <sighs> okay. I'm getting better at identifying where the guns are on some of these guys. <sighs> Sometimes I don't get much of a choice, though. But it's not super bad. Okay. Just gonna soup up here. Uh. Okay. Now, this is a really unique concept for a, a shmup. You, you effectively are the big land boat thing and everybody else is trying to kill you. You know, usually you're locked to a small location and can't really, uh, or not locked to a small location. Usually you're a tiny little ship. And you generally don't want to, like, go too too far forward into the screen because you're just going to get surrounded or killed. Not so much in this one. And yet you really want to hug enemies to death. Okay. Whoop. Give me all them goods. Nope. Okay, so this guy's got a... He's got no goods. Or, well, he had goods, but not so much so. Yeah, handling might might be in order here. Unfortunately, it does seem like it's just like a lot of slow-moving, procedurally generated... Well, not procedurally generated enemies. It seems like there's only a certain number of enemy types. Which I guess, for the most part, is fine. Okay, I'm just gonna kill that pilot. I don't want to get caught out here. That is how death happens. Give them sweet, sweet jibby bits. Also, note yourself, longer missions. Let's keep improving skill while we're here. So, duration, three minutes, three minutes, one minute. Oh, got it. Okay, let's go to the deep space shipyard. And I'm just going to increase handling. If we're lucky, that means speed. I'm unsure. P 
probably probably does. I don't feel much faster. Okay. Give me all those bits. Yeah, I do move faster. Okay. Not much faster, but I do move faster. I think we want to save up for weapons next. Okay. Really, repair canister comes a little late in the process, but that's okay. Give me, yeah, no, I 100% I move faster here. I'm back, jetpack man. So my accuracy is kind of bad. It's not that big of a deal until we fight something particularly small. At which point then it starts sucking really bad. Okay, well, I'm doing tremendously better. I'm, I'm learning the ropes. I, I'm kind of getting a general feel for what I'm doing here. Now, mums. Okay. It looks like the gray enemies are considerably stronger than the, uh... enemies are considerably stronger than their their pink counterparts okay there we go he is quite dead yeah these these runs take some time I do not wish oh was that a uh, I was I think that was actually a a party healing thing Oh, my money. My money. Let it come back. There we go. At some point, I'm going to have a gun that uses ammo, and I'm going to be in a very good position. I keep seeing a DNA thing pop up whenever I kill one of those guys. I wonder if the reason why we didn't get any DNA points is because my, my pilot died. Or, not died, I sold my pilot off like a... Dingle hop. Probably the case. Okay, we probably want to go for special weapons next if we can. Let's, do we repair the ship? Improve crew armor. Oh. That helped a little bit. Okay. Please present, please present for the weapon shop. Or we can keep going to deep space. Oh. I can't buff that up. Okay. Well, I couldn't increase my handling, but I increased everything else. I don't know if it's a good idea. But at least I'm doing better. It's kind of nice. Should have saved for a weapon shop, but that that's okay. Uh, let's see. Do we call it here and keep going? Nah. Let's keep going. I'll I'll split this episode if I. Dang it! So shooting the pilot out does not count. Uh, it does not actually destroy the ship. You don't get any of the crew. Kills them automatically, which is nice, but not so worthwhile. I'm shooting inside of you. You cannot escape me. He's trying to get behind me, but he will never succeed at that. Never, I say. Unfortunately, yeah, like I said, the enemies have this bad tendency of getting, like, going outside the map and then dying. And, like, I guess I could bait them out of there, but, like, ugh. Well, there was a repair canister, but, of course, it's off the map. We didn't take too much damage there, but, uh... Oh, I see how that works. Damn it. I don't know what those... 
hard necessarily. That actually did a decent chunk of damage. We're doing all right. Wow, this game is long. Okay, let's keep improving skill. Weapon shop police are present. Reduces my progress, though. We're doing it. Okay. So what do we have? Chainsaw, chainsaw, or a wave gun? I can't afford the chainsaw. Let's get the wave gun instead of the blaster mark one. I think. Ammo. I can buy more ammo, but I have yet to run into anything that I can really ammo. Okay. Well, I found the space police. Okay. Got that. Yeah, you gotta give credit where credit is due. The uh, wave gun is stupidly powerful. Unfortunately, we've taken a shit ton of damage here, which is not a good thing. Okay, we got a repair canister. That's good. We're taking some serious damage. At least this is this is short. I was kind of hoping I could take out the space cop. But no dice. Okay. So, we gotta heal the crew. Losing them would suck. Let's keep going for weapon shops, I think. Chainsaw. Ammo Boy's favorite. It's a rifle. Oh, it's just 10% off. Particle gun. I'm gonna do that. We'll see if that's any good. Unfortunately, I have no idea. Oh, it's that one. Okay. It's a little expensive, but the better reactor... The better reactor definitely makes up for it. Okay. Grab that. Oh, we gotta probably roll a shipyard. them goodies. Be careful. We do not want Celine to burn. Okay. Yeah, increasing the reactor has made a massive difference here. I guess I gotta remember I've got the... Oh, you know what? I really should be using that shield a lot more often. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's a great way to get around enemies. Because if they've if they've got any like specific uh, positioning, you know, if they've got like a chainsaw up top, block that, roll around. Makes sense. I should have been doing that this entire time. Okay. There we go. We I'm doing I'm doing better. I mean obviously there's still many, many concerns here, but that that's okay. Let's see, do we do skill, improve crew armor, or repair ship? Let's repair ship. Do we do shipyard? We could do another shipyard. <laughs> I have no idea how this game scales difficulty. Do we do space rush hour? Or go for the weapon shop? Or make some progress? Because I think what I did previously was I actually was just doing just deep space or progressing too much. Let's do the shipyard. 
Oh. I guess I have nothing. But yeah, let's let's start making some progress here. Okay. Oh! Oh, those things, those things actually do damage to your teammates. Ah! Well, that's a new enemy type at the very least that I've never seen before. Unfortunately, I do actually have to kill these cars. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, my, my frontal arc damage is kind of bad. So we're just going to be taking a whole buttload of damage. It... It does look like they... They will fire off in a direction. If you hit them. Like, you can almost use them as a projectile. Almost. It's not always a good idea. Okay, note to self, do not do space rush hour, ever. It is not worth it. This guy's more than friendly enough to more or less just tank all the cars for me for a moment. Probably could have actually just left him alone. Okay. Well, my medic's taking some day. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm running low on energy. We're almost done, though. Okay. I'm just gonna let him be in front. Ugh. Ow. Got me anyway. My poor medic. Ow. Okay, we're we're done. That was a hell of a thing. Let's never do that again. All right, let's heal crew and go to the shipyard. Probably it'll set me back, but like was dying. Okay. I wonder if I can actually kill the Leopold task force. Ah, oh, dang it, it just runs. I was really hoping it wouldn't, so I could just wreck him. The answer is no. Whoop! Okay. Oh, he's got a bit dicey. We're getting in a silly amount of ammo if and when I get anything that uses ammo. Also money for if we ever get a special weapon shop, I'm just going nuts with it. Okay, well, we're doing suspiciously well. I think it's because I've learned how the game works and I'm not like trying to I'm not accidentally rushing through progression, though we should. Okay, there we go. We got a med kit. I I appreciate the fact that there are there are power ups like that.
It's very nice being able to pick up like a, a health kit for my dudes. My dudes. Okay, we took like a smidge of damage. Beware the saw blade men. Okay, let's do some tr skill training and let's just do. Do we do fleet massing or deep space? Do deep space. Probably fastest. Okay, you. You weird, weird creature. It did not like that. Whatever the hell that thing is or was. It's the barf monster, apparently. Alright, we're not actually done. There's actually more to that. They do actually have enemies fight you. Oh, and they leave. Well, I guess I didn't gain much there, but whatever. Okay, keep improving crew skill. Yeah, well, we've got it. Special weapons, or a special crew shop. Let's use special weapons. Supercharged weapon, and a machine gun, one. Well, I can afford both. It's still a big question mark. Okay. This should be fun. Okay, and it looks like we've hit... Oh, there's a repair canister there. Alright, whatever. So I'll probably replace the, uh, the machine gun when I get the chance. Maybe. I guess as long as I only have, like, one or two items. I really, really wish the, uh... I, I really wish the cash and, like, loot and whatnot would bounce around for a little bit. You know, just kind of, like, bounce off the back, bounce forward. You kind of, kind of, like, bounce around maybe at a higher speed. To give you more of a chance at, at looting it all. Because, yeah, half the time, like, I kill an enemy behind me... I get nothing from it. It's sad. Okay, you. And that wave gun is... is satisfying. A lot of these enemies are a little on the tougher side. Ugh. At least the resources I get from them are decent. Give me your goods. Give me more of them goodies. Ah. Uh. You've been jerks with jetpacks. Leave me alone. Okay, so we didn't take too much damage there. Let's keep training crew skill. We could do recruitment. We could do we do not do space darkness ever again. Do we just skip ahead with deep space? Let's just skip ahead with Deep Space. Okay, there we go. Most amount of loot. Okay. Yeah, I'm not exactly a bruiser. But I'm doing alright. Hopefully we actually get to keep those DNA points this, this time around. Yep, 
be a darn, darn shame if we didn't. I just shoot off your chainsaw. Ah, oh, damn it. Keep improving that one more and we'll be good. Ion Storm. Last time it did an Ion Storm, it was spooky. Let's just keep making some progress here. Might be a boss fight? Nope, still no boss fight. Okay, give me all your goodies. Man, that machine gun blows through ammo way too fast. Give me all them goodies. At some point we'll find, like, a place with real, real useful bits. That'll put me in a good spot. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have no idea if I killed it. Okay, I did not kill it. Oh, I didn't get too much out of that. We're not taking too much damage, though, which is good. I was gonna... I don't even know what killed that guy. Existence, I guess. He was allergic to space. Oh, there was a repair canister there, but it flew off screen, of course. Yeah, just if it rebounded once, just bounced up a little bit, that would make all the difference. Wee. Okay, so far so good. There we go. Oh, we get a smidge of money. The machine gun ammo is doing all right. Okay, what did we get there? I have no idea. We actually did take some damage. Do we do... Yeah, we'll be... We're good. Let's max out crew skill. We could do recruitment. Let's do the shipyard. Still can't upgrade anything more, though. Uh, unfortunately, this game might straight up be longer than it should be. Because I'm enjoying myself. But I'm also finding that it's... Uh, the progression is very slow, and I think a lot of that has to do with my own... My own failings. But, like, uh... My own failings? I don't know, my own personal decisions. But, like, I'm a big fan of Slay the Spire. Awesome roguelike, and... You were always moving forward in that game. And it always, like, works pretty well. Okay, good. We got a nice health kit from that. I'm not sure what his plan was. Let's see. You're always moving forward in that game, node to node to node, and you got to pick where you're going. And this is very close. But, like, I feel like we should just have, like, a standard Slay the Spire style or, like, FTL map. None of this, like, forward and backward thing. Though I, I appreciate how much longer you can take. I guess part of it is just, like, I, I'm not feeling like I'm getting... The progression system does not keep up with the length. I'm in a really critical mood <laughs> Recently, I part of it is I'm I'm starting to write reviews slowly and starting to like put them together because I, I really like the idea of of having like a separate review channel uh, just to talk about a lot of these indie games because yeah in a lot of cases nobody bothers to review them uh, apart from like one person here and there. Unfortunately, that does mean that it's turning me into a bit of a critic because I'm sitting down being like, so what is wrong with this game? And the answer is eh, actually not much. I think it's just the Length. Okay, so I don't know if we can train sk skill. Nothing is injured, so I guess let's start improving armor. And... Oh, we're at Pluto. All units, Leopold's experiment has reached Pluto. The Junker boss's tank is on the move. 
Pluto. Crew Keeper Jumpers Home Planet. Well. I wonder if that thing can just push us off screen. Okay. I'm sorry, what? Uh, am I winning? I guess I'm just gonna hang out here for a second. Oh, that's me. Okay, I was on the ground for a bit there. Yeah, I think I was in inside the ground for a moment. Probably not the place I want to be. Yeah, so that beam is deadly. Well, deadly. It hurts, at least. All of those resources! It didn't even let me pick them up! Dumb. Okay. Huh? Okay, let's heal the crew. We took some damage there. Detonate bomb, and run, destroy planet, and unlock ship. Obviously. Pluto was not a planet. <laughs> and that was the first planet of all of them. Well, it doesn't look a ship for me, though. This is Pluto. Why did you do that? Okay, progress, cash, navigation shops, cash urns, space giblets. So I unlocked a ship, but I still didn't get any DNA points. Do I only get a DNA point if I... If I win. <sighs> I... I wonder if this game would actually be better off with, like, a substantial amount more progression systems. You know, unlocking weapons on each run, like, shorter, smaller bites, or, or something. I don't know. Like, it definitely seemed a lot more doable once I once I realized how the progression system or progression the uh, the route system worked. And I guess that didn't even take that long. I think that was a half hour run to make it to Pluto. And I'm sure if I went faster, I would have actually been able to clear that in half the time. I I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I guess with this, I will s maybe see you guys in the next episode. I am torn. It seems like an interesting game, but I could leave it here and wait to see if there's any, like, major patches that, like, speed things up, or maybe, uh... I, I guess part of it is I was also just hoping for some more interesting weapons and upgrades and, like, tricks and stuff. Because it would have been cool if you could get, like, an upgrade that gives you, like, a magnet range, or another upgrade that, um... That makes, like, loot drops bounce around the screen, like I was talking about, or... What else would there be? I, I don't know. I... I was a huge fa fan of Steridin back in the day. And so everything... The Steridin and Nova Drift, and so everything kind of in the same genre, I end up, like, comparing. And I think this with, like, a Nova Drift level upgrade system would be amazing. I would have loved that. But I think that's just because I enjoy Nova Drift, and I shouldn't be like, you know, this should be like Nova Drift. I just want the shipyards to have interesting perks that are expensive, but, like, change the gameplay in some way or shape or, shape or form. Because, yeah, it takes a while to even get interesting guns. And I think that's the one problem, because it's like, I would love it just like a straight-up, like, murder laser. But that would be very expensive and probably screwed me over, so I don't even know. Anyway, uh, I guess if you guys like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more random mini games, my bucket list is, is infinite. And we will get through them somehow. <laughs> so... I guess I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.